Hi, I'm Chef Rafael and welcome to today's video. Um, today I'm working from home. I'm grilling once again. I, whenever I love it when I'm grilling because um, it's so different from my usual set uh, in, my, in my studio kitchen. Now, today I'm showing you how to make a grilled fish. Now, I have a black cod or a cod um, and you can use any other fish fillet that you can get. Now, in this video, you learn the tips on how to do it. I've actually even shown you how to marinate it. I'll make, I've made a quick marinade, so you'll see in the video how to make it. And also at the end, towards the end of the video, I've actually showed you how to make a quick tartar sauce, which is what I'm serving it with. So I'm so excited and I hope you learned something new. And I also want to remind you about my new classes on uh, retrieve.com. Now the classes is where you can actually, there's two, two packages. One is for baking, one is for cooking. So check them out. I'll put the description of retrieve classes in the description. So let's get started and let's get cooking. So the main ingredients here again, uh, um, we have the fish fillet. Now you can use whatever fish fillet you can get. This is a cod um, fillet. You can use uh, Nile patch. You can use um, um, red, white snapper or red snapper. Uh, I'm not gonna be specific about the type of fish that you use. Um, what this is, it's a big piece. Um, when I saw it in the supermarket, it looks very nice. And I thought of, let me do a video with this. What they have done here, it's usually probably like this. What they have done here, they have removed the bones. Um, so it's usually cut this like this, so that the bones are removed, the ones that may be sticking out. And then on one side, you notice that it's thicker than the other. Um, so I'll, I'm going to process it, and then later I will cut it into two. Uh, because this side is thicker than this, and if you're going to cook them in one piece, uh, this side will cook more than this one. So that's what I'm trying to avoid when it comes to cooking. But make sure that the fish is fresh. So I'll put this aside. And then the other ingredients are, I have a little bit of garlic paste and ginger paste, um, like uh, one teaspoon of each. I have chopped coriander. Now the coriander that I'm using here is actually the, the, uh, the stalks, the stalks part. Um, the ends, not the leaves, but you can still use the leaves. Uh, but this is a good way of, um, you know, using the, the stalks. Sometimes they are, they don't look so nice. So you can use that and then leave the leaves for garnishing. And then I have some salt, pepper, and some oil. I'm, I'm actually using olive oil. So you can actually do this in a blender, but I chose to do it um, um, here as a, on a plate. So the main ingredient in terms of flavor will come from the ginger and garlic. And then the herbs will act as the, also some flavor and also to add some green color to the, to the mixture. I'm going to add uh, black pepper. You can also use white pepper. Personally, I love black pepper. So everything that I cook, I usually put black pepper. So a generous amount. And then salt, about four pinches, about four pinches, because this is mixture will actually uh, serve the whole, uh, we are applying on the fish. So the oil is for two things, is to bind this mixture make it come together as a paste like that. Also, it will also help in the making the fish um, uh, have some oil. Now the fish needs to be dry before you apply this. To prevent the fish from sticking, uh, the oil will actually help whenever you're when grilling. So working on the outdoors sometimes is really tricky. Like here I'm having a little bit uh, a lot of flies, uh, but I'm actually on the outdoors, so bear with me on that. So again, the mixture is for applying on the fish. So just using the, my spoon and applying it. Now remember the salt. I think the most important thing you need to note whenever you're doing this is the salt 
level needs to be slightly high if you taste this it should be salty because it's actually the salt no we are not putting the salt inside the fish it's only on the surface so you want it to be slightly more now when of course you when you never you're doing this kind of a uh, marination or um, flavoring you can also use um, dried uh, uh, powder like ginger powder garlic powder that could still work now ideally you can actually leave this uh, one thing you've noticed I've not done is I've not added lemon juice personally I prefer adding lemon juice later especially when it's cooked because when you add lemon juice right now what you do it will um, kind of trying to kind of cook the fish um, and it will change the texture of the the fish so I'm avoiding the lemon so all I've just added is what have you have seen the ginger garlic I've not forgotten the lemon it's just that I don't like adding lemon whenever I'm marinating fish so you can actually leave this for two hours in the fridge or even overnight uh, it will not change the state of the fish but also like in my case what i'm going to do i'm actually going to cook it immediately so you don't even need to leave it for long uh, because it's nicely covered with the um, herbs and actually i'll add a little bit of black pepper again i love black pepper so i don't mind a little bit extra so the oil also will help in cooking the fish making it not stick So that's it so now we are going to grill it so now it's time to grill what i've already done is i've set my grill on medium heat um, so it's preheated it's hot uh, not too hot and then also like i said um, cut the fish into two because this is a bigger piece in fact i'll start with this in terms of cooking now um, because it has oil it should not stick so what i'm going to do is place it and you want to hear that sizzle uh, when cooking. Um, uh, this other piece, I'll actually place it a little bit later so that they cook at the same time. Uh, now, what will be happening as it continues cooking is that the heat will come from down, coming up. Now, the good thing about fish, you can actually see it. Um, it's pink when you're starting, and then as it continues cooking, it will start turning white, and it should not take too long. Um, actually, it will take about, uh, for this thickness, about, uh two minutes on each side so total cooking time about four to five minutes so i'll now cover it so the reason why you want to cover it is because you actually want to get it heated like in the oven so that it's not too um uh, so that it cooks like with an than like an oven um now if you do not have this kind of a grill you can actually do the same procedure on a pan now when you start you start on high heat so that it browns the uh the base of the fish uh, as it continues cooking and then at some point you need to reduce the fire so that it does not burn on the outside before it cooks on the inside that's really important so in this case i'm also gonna keep an eye on it um because i haven't put in the other piece um i'm going to keep an eye on it and then i'll leave it to cook for about two minutes so it's actually been uh two minutes now um now this is what I was saying about the fish. As it continues cooking, the heat goes from down coming up and you'll notice that it starts changing color from pink to white. And what you want, even on this side, let me turn it. On this side, it's white on, up to that point. That means the, the heat has cooked it halfway. All we need to do now is turn it so that it cooks the other side. Same, um, the same, uh, results of the other half the second piece um, that I'd put a little bit later I'll leave it to, to, to brown slightly on on that one side uh, and then I'll flip it because again by the time now this one will be done and I flip this they'll actually cook at the same time uh, alternatively you can either cook one at a time or um, just keep an eye on 
which uh, the smaller piece and the bigger piece um, so cover so now the fish is ready let's serve what I have here is um, a, a mixture that I'm going to make uh, with uh, to make a simple tartar sauce I have chopped parsley I have capers I mean um, gherkins uh, chopped onions what I'm missing here is capers I didn't have any in the kitchen but it's fine if you ask me this will still work what is most important is something pickled and that's the gar the, the gherkins so now I'm going to add mayonnaise so basically I've done a previous video and I'm where I'm actually making a so this is finished let me get a new one so I've ad actually made a previous video for uh, for making um, tartar sauce it's just that tartar sauce is perfect combination I'm going to add a little bit of um, black pepper again I love black pepper and maybe a tiny amount of salt although the mayonnaise does have salt and a squeeze of lemon small squeeze of lemon and then mix everything so it's as simple as that um, if you just have onions and maybe parsley or that's fine if you have garlic you can also add garlic if you don't have gherkins something simple but i think what is most important is adding that slight small amount of um, of uh, the lemon juice and then now the fish that is uh, is ready just slide it now the fish now the good thing about a, f a fish like this it needs to be firm now this one is firm uh, it doesn't break apart when it's cooked uh and um again i've served it with some uh, kachumbari you can also take lemon juice and squeeze like that now this is where i was saying when it comes to lemon for me i prefer adding lemon when it's cooked and there you have it it's as simple as that or maybe let me remove these seeds so this if this is a fish uh, sub with some um, uh, quick tartar sauce um, then you can have it serve it with your preferred accompaniment uh, in, uh, whether it's rice whether it's plain like that it's up to you so um, I've finished cooking I've finished plating I've actually tasted remember the other piece that I had I've actually tested it it's really nice I'm leaving this intact because I need a photo of this so um, uh, but the the other piece that was left I've tasted it it's nice it has a nice crisp crispiness on the edges uh, the thing about grilling is that it has it, that charring effect the flame it, it and again you can still do this on a pan um i'll be honest it will not be exactly the same as doing it on a on a on a grill like this one but it will still give you the good effect if you if you grill it on a pan and i hope you've learned something new uh the tartar sauce again that's a quick one the reason why i decided to not mix it beforehand is just to show you the ingredients and like i said for this one uh, if you do not have some of the ingredients like the main one is capers um the gherkins uh, i think because they have a nice tart taste if you don't have that just add some onions add some lemon juice um uh and you'll still be okay add some garlic as you're eating it you can either dip it in the sauce or take the sauce and apply it on the fish uh it's up to you uh, you don't even have to use the 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 tartar sauce you can use um you can have it the way it is but because it's not dry it's see the thing about cooking fish it should not dry up it should not be um you know like you know when when you say well done so long as the clear the liquid is clear when it's coming out then that uh, fish is cooked. Hope you've learned something. I'm Chef Raphael signing out and uh, until next time, goodbye.